Nigeria's macroeconomic uh, statistics very quickly. External reserves uh, stands at $40 billion uh, dollars, uh, right now. Of course, due to uh, oil price increase, we've seen oil price increasing uh, from about $45 uh, US dollars to what it is right now, 70 US dollars. Nigeria's bonnie light is trading around 70, 71 US dollars. So I do think that government officials should be uh, applauding and happy for that right now. What else do we have on the macroeconomic table? Exchange rate official, 305 Naira mm, to $1, 362 Naira to the dollar at the BDC segment of the market. Interest rate at 14%, CRR at 22.5%, liquidity ratio at 30%. All those rates were, you know, kept steady at the last MPC meeting in November. And talking about the MPC meeting, I've talked about, uh, <laughs> I've talked about it here on the program that the government needs, you know, to be proactive. When I'm talking about the government, I, I mean the executive and the legislature uh, in terms of uh, putting the n members that are not on the board right now, the CBM board is another issue. MPC members that needs to be replaced should be replaced. But I must say that there is a caveat there also, that there is a space in the CBN Act that says that even though the MPC do not meet, let's say in a year, n is not really a crisis situation. But we are an economy and we have economic managers. We have the economic management team. I do think that President Buhari and his team should begin to work on that. And also what I want to suggest is that it's not, all the, it's not at once you uh, get or nominate and approve all the members so that all of them will retire at the same time. Can we stagger it? That is my own advice so that MPC would always have a quorum all the time so that we will not be in this kind of situation we are right now. NSC market, please go back. NSC market uh, capitalization, 15.9 trillion naira. The Nigerian stock market is the best performing market in the world as it is right now, with a 12.7% uh, return on investment. The year to date performance, okay, 15.2% it is right now. Don't forget that the Nigerian market was up about 43% last year. It was the third best performing market in uh, the world last year and it's still following that trend but still below the record highs of 20, uh, 2008. Currency circulation 1.89 trillion naira. Broad money M2 21.97 trillion. Narrow money 10.84 trillion. Of course the broad money uh, indicates both the currency and bank deposits while other ones are, you know, the currencies. What else was the next uh, table that we do have there? Nigeria's economy grew 0.72% in the Q1. Uh, in Q2, uh, 1.4% in Q3. Uh, so we're expecting Q4 numbers. Crude oil prices standing at 69.70 US dollars a barrel. Oil production, 1.8 million barrels. Um, inflation currently stands at 15.37% as released by the NBS yesterday. Food inflation stands at 19.40%. We're seeing a steady decrease in food inflation, but it's still high. Uh, budget target put at 12.4%, that's inflation target. Unemployment stands at 18.8%. Mixed re-index 56%. Poverty rate 67%. And last year, just before we went home for the holidays, I did tell you that according to the World Poverty Clock, you did say that by February, Nigeria would overtake India as the world's poorest nation. I don't think our officials are even thinking of that now. What they are thinking of is election. Anyway, let's go ahead. PMI recorded steady up bids in the year 2017 to close at 59.3%. What else do we have? Inflation numbers from January to December. For those of you that are interested in the numbers, January 18.72%. Mid-year 2017, it uh, went down to 16.1%. December 15.37% for inflation. So a steady increase uh, from uh, uh, talking about prices. So if we're taking a look at what the CBN did in terms of tightening monetary policy, uh, we saw the uh, result here in uh, um, inflation numbers trending downwards. Now let's take a look at food inflation very quickly. Yes. Food inflation from January 17.8%, February it increased. We're seeing that, that, that up to November 20.30%, the highest uh, so far in one year. Don't forget that the economy also exited a recession uh, last uh, year. Month on month inflation, 1.01% till December, 0.59%. That's uh, this last uh, numbers that we have. Do we have any other card there very quickly? Budget 2018 breakdown. 
where should we start from? The National Assembly that um, started plenary on Tuesday. That was yesterday. So we expect that work should be ongoing concerning the 2018 budget. But 1.2 trillion naira has been released so far for the 2017 budget, according to the Minister of Finance, for capital spending. But these are the estimates. The budget size of 8.6 trillion naira for this year is 10 percent higher than the 2017 estimate. But what is key there is for us the budget cycle and implementation, very key. Brent, uh, all, uh, Brent, Brent crude oil price for $5, as it is right now, we are costing a real uh, high in terms of oil price. Oil production, that's the estimate, 2.3 million barrels. Exchange rate, 305 naira. Mm, okay. Real GDP growth, 3.5%. I don't know where, how we are going to grow that way, but perhaps my guest will put in some perspectives. If he shares this vision with uh, the executive, 3.5% from a 1.4% growth right now. Can we achieve that this year? Inflation target, 124 Can we achieve that by perhaps by the end of 2018? Recurrent expenditure, debt servicing will go up 2 trillion naira. Recurrent cost, 3.4 trillion naira. Uh, capital spending of 2.42 trillion naira. What else? Mm. Okay. Breakdown of the numbers. MDAs and the amounts they will get. Education, 435 billion. Health, 269.3 billion. Interior, 510 billion. What else do we have? Which other ministries? Uh, BRF, isn't it? Power, Works, and Housing. Uh, we'll be getting that. Power, Works, and Housing will be getting about 555 uh, billion. Now, let's go. Oh, to the next slide. Defense, 145 billion. Special intervention funds of President Buhari, 500 billion naira. FCT, 40.3 billion naira. Quite a whole lot to talk about. NDDC, 71.2 billion. Okay, is there any other thing for us to take a look at? The key programs to be implemented this 2018, very strategic. 9.8 billion naira for the Mambila Hydropower Project. 12 billion counterpart funding for air market uh, transmission lines and substations. I think the president mentioned this in his New Year speech.